APN Cape York was established in 2011 by Southernwick traditional owners who wanted to re-establish governance over their homelands, return to country and through being on country empower themselves. So since the beginning, APN's primary purpose is to enable traditional owners to be empowered on their homelands, culturally, socially, economically and sustainably. Whilst APN operationally started as a ranger group, the vision has always been for effective and appropriate multifunctional landscape management that provides for the management of country for a multitude of values sustainably and for the long term. Fire has always been a critical element in WIC people generating values-based impacts on their homelands. Fire, Gladys Tyburn Gumpa, dancing in front of Parliament House during the WIC native title court case. Hot woman, fire totem, purposeful, catalytic, transformative. Fire, Tum Norm, implemented when country tells traditional owners it's time for early season burning through long observed natural indicators, purposeful, catalytic, transformative. Fire management for carbon abatement. Modern and traditional fire management on wheat country. Burning for culture, burning for connection to country, burning to contribute to net zero climate change action through carbon markets. Purposeful, catalytic, transformative. Fire has always been its own thing. Wick country and Wick people have shaped fire and been shaped by fire for time immemorial. Like traditional Tum Norm, fire management today is still about the values for which you burn, the conditions you are burning in, the tools you use to burn, the observations and adaptations you must make to the different conditions, the governance of ensuring the right people are doing the right things in the right way, and the benefits are distributed appropriately. Today, the catalytic and transformative nature of fire in these landscapes has become more and more visible. No longer is it something solely seen by weak families from the ground or by curious travellers in planes overhead wondering who is down there in the endless green landscape that is Cape York from the air. Now we have satellites capturing fire scars and real-time fire events. Corporate and government interests in Australia and globally are observing weak fire. For the WIC families that created APN, the question has always been, how will we shape and be shaped by this catalytic and transformative element? To answer this question, APN has looked to the traditional owners and their cultural and ecological values, WIC traditional owners' self-determination, native title and Aboriginal freehold rights, and the principles of international human rights, ecological sustainable development, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. APN is also looking at international market frameworks for other benefits that may be attached to carbon and considering what we think are the values that are important to invest in to create successful value chains. APN understands that right way fire management is about responding to conditions. APN therefore had to consider the environmental, social, economic and cultural conditions of the place and people in this landscape. A place so rich in biodiversity of the tropical savanna, marine plains and wetlands, and yet a people consistently appearing in the Australian Bureau of Statistics list of the most disadvantaged communities in Australia. APN understands that the endeavour of fire management is as much about carbon as it is about culture, social and economic empowerment, biodiversity conservation and sustainability. This challenges APN to think beyond immediate short-term efficiency and effectiveness for single values and rather focus on ways to manage multiple uses of WIC homelands in order to grow cumulative positive social and environmental impacts over the medium and longer term. Therefore, APN considers fire management within a socio-cultural, ecological integrated management framework approach to landscape management and the empowerment of WIC people. Like most corporations today, APN is challenged to move beyond single values and trade-offs. Fortunately, today fire is not the only catalyst for transformation. Today, climate action, corporate strategy and responsibility, carbon markets, telecommunications and digital technology are also catalyzing transformation. APN knows that the way in which we approach creating societal values will determine how effective we are at generating transformation. The challenge will be in how we design our work so that we can engage with emerging markets and corporate partners looking to create shared value. How we create capability and productivity in fire management. 
how we build capability in other supportive industries such as data and digital technology, and how we engage and encourage the weaving of traditional and modern knowledge and practice. For APN, the tyranny of distance and the excuse of remoteness is no longer the barrier to productivity it once was. It is our responsibility to ensure that we can use these catalysts to transform. Partnerships have never been more important and appropriate co-design has never been more complex. APN has been fortunate to have innovative partnerships with a range of different partners, all enabling APN to establish value chains for carbon and other impact markets. APN has been working with the Queensland Land Restoration Fund and the Indigenous Land and Sea Corporation to develop new methods to monitor environmental co-benefits from tropical savanna fire management for carbon and other impact markets. For many years, APN has been fortunate to have the support of the Queensland Department of Environment and Science, Queensland Indigenous Land and Sea Ranger Program, the Commonwealth Science and Industry Research Organisation, and the Northern Australian Indigenous Land and Sea Management Alliance. All these partners help build our capability to trial innovative ways of monitoring biophysical assets using remote sensing, aerial surveillance and artificial intelligence. Whilst these innovations are environmentally focused, they necessitate place-based development of supportive industry capability, particularly in data management and analytics, drone capability, communications, fleet maintenance, infrastructure maintenance, and outstation property asset management. It is APN's hope and intent that by developing capabilities for place-based supportive industries for carbon and other impact markets, we will be able to catalyse transformation locally whilst also contributing to global transformation as well. This brings us back to fire management, purposeful, catalytic, transformative. The future of fire management has much to learn from traditional tum norm. It is still an element harnessed to generate impacts for values that are important to people. It is still an element that must be managed if it is to be purposeful, catalytic and transformative. It is still about ensuring capability grows into mastery by being on country, understanding country and understanding your values and your relationship to country. It is still about fine scale observation and adaptive action applied appropriately in time and place. It is still about the tools you have at your disposal. It is still about the relationship between people and between people and place. It is still about the rights of people. It is still about ensuring the right people are making the right decisions for different conditions and values. It is still about ensuring that the benefits of caring for country are distributed appropriately, and it is still about the empowerment of First Nations people on their country, generation after generation after generation. Fire has always been its own thing. Weak country and weak people have shaped fire and been shaped by fire for time immemorial. Some things have changed, but some things have stayed the same. Fire, purposeful, catalytic, transformative.